desperate for color. Like Denver in particular. Just, I think yeah. half the teams in the NFL could probably use a yeah. new head coach. It'll be interesting yeah. to see how that turns out. Thanks, sure. Adam. You bet. Okay, well, we're expecting some action on the coast, it looks like. I was watching you build your graphics. Yes. 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 Thank you. There's some stuff headed our way. Yeah, some pretty big waves out there. Mm -hmm. So anybody who's a fan of just storm watching from the coast, this is going to be next couple of days, Wednesday and Thursday, are going to be some pretty big action days out there. Of course, if you are inviting friends or family from out of town and they're not used to how things develop out here, uh, keep them at a safe distance. Keep them away from the beach. Do not hang out on the jetties. I know everybody wants a perfect picture and video, but do it from a safe distance because every year we end up reporting on fatalities because of this extreme weather we get at the coast. So let's talk about Portland. Shower chances yeah, pretty much all week. We're going to have a stronger easterly wind developing tomorrow. And then again, those bigger waves for you at the coast, along with some pretty strong winds. So what's generating all of this? What's happening out there? Well, about a thousand miles offshore, we have a rather strong area of low pressure, also known as a bomb cyclone. But why does it get that name? Rapid intensification in a short period of time. So there are measurements by which we use to identify this type of system and it qualifies for sure. So about a thousand miles offshore, more or less heading in a direction towards Northern California and Southern Oregon. But it's not going to be making landfall or Oregon or California. In fact, it's going to be staying offshore. But meanwhile, generating some pretty big swell out there and will be also helping to generate some stronger winds. A couple of lightning strikes popping up just offshore from Coos Bay and Bandon. If you uh, have friends in that area, uh, maybe keeping them off the beach here as we could get additional thunderstorms popping up just on the outskirts of that area of low pressure. OK, high wind warning. Yes, for the southern Oregon coastline wind gusts anywhere from 70 to 80 miles per hour possible. Basically, Coos Bay all the way down to Brookings and into Northern California. So if you're heading that way at all uh, tomorrow or Thursday, that's when the strongest winds are expected. Sustained winds 35 to 45 miles per hour. Then a storm warning. What does that mean? Uh, basically, if you're in a small boat or any kind of boat, you pretty much don't want to be out there going from Wednesday through Thursday. Bigger waves also being generated. What are we seeing right now? Well, looking at some of our buoy data, uh, just offshore, about 25 miles or so. Uh, wave heights out there about 13 feet. Not too big just yet, but again, we haven't even gotten started yet. Uh, wind gusts out there up to about 29 miles per hour. Uh, so with the wind plus the building west swell, we could see seas upwards of 30 feet or more. But again, by the time it actually arrives to our front door here, it's not going to be quite as big. We're looking at wave heights anywhere from about perhaps 25 to 30 feet. Either way you look at it, that's pretty big. And that, of course, will likely be generating some sneaker waves, too, um, even when that energy starts to kind of dissipate over the next few days. So never turn your back to the ocean. That is the general consensus there. 41 for us right now in Portland. Wind is out of the southeast at 11 miles per hour. Temperatures for you tonight will pretty much hover around 40 degrees. We'll have a few showers here in the next hour or so. And then we'll get a little bit of a break in those late night hours. Here's the rain showing up for us over the coast range. You might run into a few snowflakes and all of this rain as soon as it moves to the northeast means snow. Yes, not for Portland, though. It'll be for the gorge. So heading into Hood River Cascade Locks later on tonight between about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the evening going into those early morning hours. Get a little bit of a dry break overnight. Wednesday afternoon, next round of rain and stronger easterly winds. Uh, but luckily for us here in the Portland and Vancouver metro areas, we're not dragging in Arctic air this time around. Colder air, yes, but it's not going to produce snow for us. It will produce snow for the gorge going into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Snow levels rise on Thursday with warmer temperatures. South wind takes over for us in the valley by Thursday afternoon. And then we'll be seeing more showers continuing all the way through Friday. But again, the biggest impacts are really going to be for Northern California. Let's talk about those wind speeds and timing for all of this. Uh, we get to tomorrow afternoon for the Portland area all the way out to the coast Tillamook. That east wind is really going to be hammering on us anywhere from about 35 to 45 miles per hour possible. Strongest winds along the southern coast right there. So Gold Beach up through Bandon, anywhere from 50 to 60, upwards of 70 miles per hour possible. 
We get to Thursday afternoon, stronger winds then developing as soon as that wind direction changes. Right up the I-5 corridor there, Eugene up through Salem, upwards of 30 to 45 miles per hour, about 29 for you, Portland. Still the windiest spots will be along the coast going into Thursday night. Our wind starts to die down by the time we get to Thursday night. Here's your seven day forecast. Tomorrow will be the coldest one for us. And at that, 42 for a high with the rain in the afternoon, wind picking up as well. This weekend, yeah, more showers on the way. We'll have a few breaks here and there, but temperature wise, relatively comfortable in the upper 40s going all the way into Monday and Tuesday of next week. But again, the windiest time period is going to be tomorrow along with our coldest time period. All right. Thanks, Natasha. Well, Portland bars and